Hey you guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel. Peter! Boom, 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 <laughs> review stuff. And I am sitting outside of Dunkin' Donuts, and I'm getting ready to go through and see what their holiday drinks are for the season. I got online, and I had a hard time kind of finding out what holiday drinks they have, but I'm getting ready to go to a Christmas holiday party tonight. I know, already in November, it seems kind of early. But I am, so I thought I would pull through and um, go and get something from my favorite. Well, maybe not my favorite coffee place, I'm just saying. But I'm getting ready to go through here and um, we'll see what coffee drinks they have and then um, I will try one of them out. I'm sure they have something. They have to. I see um, it says sipping, 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 not sipping, sipping, <laughs> like Duncan, something. What is this right here? Sipping signature lattes. Oh, they do. Okay, so you can see right here they have the Merry Mocha Mint. The holiday, oh my god, I love a good eggnog so much. Uh, the toasted gingerbread and the frosted white chocolate. Can you see that? Can you see it? Would you just look at that? Oh my god. And then people have been asking me to taste or to try out the Beyond. Um, and here it is, the great taste plant-based uh, breakfast uh, thing. I'm not going to try that now because I'm going to a party and I want to fit into my clothes. <laughs> you know how that is when you're going to a party, you want to fit in your clothes. You know what I mean? Okay, listen. You want to try to look kind of... Listen, okay? I don't need to be eating. It's like back in the day when you go out to the clubs, I would never go to dinner first. My husband, he always wants to go out to dinner first and then go out to the clubs. I'm like, no ma'am, okay? We'll get ready and then we'll go right to the clubs so that we just look all fresh and clean. But anyway, so I think today I'm going to try... The holiday eggnog, <laughs> nog, nog, noggin, don't hit your noggin. Oh, ow, damn it, that hurt. Damn it, Janet. Oh, I forgot Sally Joe. I really did forget Sally Joe. So anyway, we're going to go through here and we're going to try the holiday eggnog latte iced or tea. Oh, should I try it iced or should I try it hot? Well, it's 43 degrees today, so um, I don't know which one I should try it. Well, I can always try it again and do another video, can't I? <laughs> Oh my God, they have so, and their cups oh, say slain. Um, hey, how are you? Yeah, how about yourself? Good. Could I get, um, could I get the uh, holiday eggnog? Is it better iced or is it better hot? Iced. Okay, let me try that iced. Medium size? Yeah, that's good. Okay, anything else for you? Nope, that's it. So we get at the window, thank you. Everything that they say has no G on it. It's like bringing, sipping, slaying. <laughs> so we're gonna try this. You can also go get all your holiday donuts that you would wanna get. I'm so excited for this. What is that? B-Y-N-D Duncan. I don't know what that means. Look, I've been using my new fanny pack. Don't be jealous. <laughs> okay. I'm so excited for this. How do you open it? Oh, how do you open the zipper? Okay, put you over. Don't! Cheaters never win. Try to be looking. What does B Y N D Duncan mean? Ben, bind Duncan? I don't understand what that means. How are you doing? About Good. What does this BYND Duncan mean? Oh, it's a uh, Beyond sandwich. It's like a plant based sandwich. Oh, yeah, I need to try that. Is it good? Yeah. It is good? Oh, that's that Beyond sandwich. I'm going to try it. Thank you. They have a sticker for it and everything. Oh, my Lanta. People um, keep on asking in the comment sections what kind of car I drive. They're like, somebody said, has Peter ever said what kind of car he drives? I've talked about it. I did a whole car vlog, I think. Well, I mean, I do a car vlog every single night. But I did a whole vlog showing my car, the outside and the inside, when I got a new car last year. Um, well, this year. But um, there you go. thank you so much. Yeah, you too. Where's all the sparkles and stuff on top of it? The whipped cream. Do I get all that? Can I get some of that? Thank you. Um... I mean, yeah, I'm doing, oh my God, all my stuff is falling out. My, I mean, you gotta have this, right? Put that back in the zipper area. 
But people keep on asking what kind of car I drive. I drive a Jeep Cherokee. I was gonna say something and I was gonna be like real bougie about it. And I was gonna be like, well, I drive like, I don't know. I was gonna come up with some like, uh, What's the, why can't I think of what the M car is? The, a Maserati SUV. I was gonna be like, I drive a Maserati SUV with all of my AdSense money that I make on my review channel. <laughs> I do, anyway. But uh, but I don't, I don't really. <laughs> I drive a Jeep Cherokee, but I love it. I love it so much. I looked at a Jeep Wrangler too, because you know, when you get to my age, you have like, you know, a midlife crisis or whatever they call it. You just want to, you just want to be adventurous. And so you think if you're driving a Jeep Wrangler that uh, you're adventurous and you're of the world. But when I went and test drove it, it's like this. And I was like, oh no, I need like the heated seats and I need, oh, he's putting all kinds of whipped cream and pretties on it. I can't wait. Okay. But you need a, a car that's comfortable. Okay. And, and this car has the heated seats. It has the vented seats. It has the, my good Judy Tani Jean, she gets in the car. She's like, could you put that heated seat on? And she was like, and then like after like two minutes, she's like, oh, my butt is burning up. So Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. You too. Oh, that looks so pretty. She just in there said, oh my God. I think the same thing about that drink. Okay. I am so excited about this. Yeah, but that heat, heat, the heat warmer, it really does kind of burn your buns, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, true story, it does. Here, I'm going to park right here. This is as good a spot as any. Okay. Oh, okay. And you can see me. Perfect lighting and everything. Okay. So here we go. This is the, look, it says frosting on it. Is that so cute? This is the frosting, <laughs> slaying, jamming, <laughs> slinging. <laughs> I was gonna say so. <gasps> Woo, family friendly, okay. And no, Sally Joe is not gonna pop out of the cup. She's just not today, but anyway. Um, eggnog iced coffee. I'm really excited about this. <laughs> Do you remember when I thought the straws were orange for Halloween? <laughs> I'm so stupid. Okay. So I'm really, really excited about this. Now, I have to tell you, when I was a little kid, I loved eggnog. My mom would always, not the spiced eggnog, okay? Not all that. But when I was a little kid, um, my mom would always get the cartons of eggnog, and I always thought it was so fancy. Oh, my God. And I would, um, I would drink it in, like, one of these, like, crystal glasses <laughs> anyway. So I thought I was so bougie even back then. And then I would sit there, and I'd have a little eggnog after, after school. <laughs> While most kids were having, uh milk and cookies, I was sitting there and I was drinking eggnog in a crystal glass. <laughs> you maybe wonder why I turned out the way that I did. Okay, cheers. <laughs> oh, that is really, really good. It's very, very eggnoggy though. Like if you're wanting a coffee drink, this def it ta you can taste a latte in it, but it's very heavy eggnog. If you don't like eggnog, you're like my husband, he can't stand eggnog. Do you hate, like this is one of my things. Okay, I'll always be like, oh, do you want this or do you want that? Or like, do you like, do you, to my husband, like, do you want an eggnog? And he won't just, he'll be, he won't just go like, no thanks. He'll be like, like, I just ask him to eat a turd sandwich or something. I did not ask you to eat a turd sandwich, okay? I asked you to try an eggnog. <laughs> It's really good. It's kind of weird, I have to be honest, like trying all the holiday drinks and we're not even past Thanksgiving yet. Like I'm really into the Christmas mood of things, but I'm just saying like we're not even in to like the, I mean, I know that everywhere that you go, to the coffee places, to, I mean, listen, by the time it's the 5th of December, I'm gonna be over Christmas, <laughs> I just am, okay? Every advent calendar I have is gonna be opened already, I'm gonna have had all the holiday drinks, I'm gonna have had, I mean, basically, it's gonna be Christmas by the 5th, okay? And, you know. <laughs> it's good. Do you ever, like, think something in your head? Well. But then, you know, back in the day, I used to watch all of Amber Lynn Reed's videos, do you know her? And one year for Christmas, this was uh, when she was with her old girlfriend, Destiny. If you know who Amberlynn Reed is, anyway. So she was with her girlfriend, Destiny, and she li literally went and bought out the entire Walmart and gave it to her as Christmas presents on her um, for, on her channel. And she sat there and she did an entire video where uh, Destiny opened all these Christmas presents. And I was like, oh my God, I want a Christmas like Destiny. And then at the end of it, she goes, I mean, it, it's like November 10th or something, okay, when she gave her this Christmas because she was so excited, which I totally understand because I'm totally like that. But then by the end of it, she said, oh, I'm just going to have to go out and buy Destiny all new Christmas presents because it's not even near Christmas yet. <laughs> I was like, I want a Christmas like that. But anyway, it was like lunch boxes and stuff. It was, it was like lunch boxes and you know, all that kind of stuff. Cheers. Anyway. <laughs> 
This is good. It's a little thick, a little creamy. <laughs> it's a lot creamy. Um, I can tell you, I definitely don't think that I would like the hot latte of it. I don't know. I mean, I can't. I, I haven't had it, so I don't know how I would say. It didn't, definitely did not need the whipped cream on it. If I was going to get it again, I would not get the whipped cream on it. I would just get it as a drink because it's already, like, really, like, it looks like just, like, co a coffee drink, but it literally tastes like you're just drinking eggnog out of a straw. It's really thick. I really like the concept. I think it's a cute holiday drink. I just wish it was more coffee based is what I, is all. So I'm going to give it a I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5. Um I like the concept. I love the holiday cups. I think the holiday cups are really cute and I love that it says frosted on it and they each say different things like slan and stuff like that. I think that's cute. So I'm going to come through here and I'm going to try the other drinks in the next couple weeks that you guys can see them. I've tried the Starbucks ones. Of course, I will be trying the Starbucks secret menu drinks. There's like a Santa Claus Frappuccino, apparently, but I'm going to wait till December to do that. So anyway, I'll be trying these. Let me know if you've tried these below. I will say this, is that I'm not somebody that typically goes to Dunkin' Donuts a whole lot, okay? I'm not like a big Dunkin' Donuts fan. And since I've started doing the reviews on this channel, I've kind of like started really liking Dunkin' Donuts. Now, I haven't gone through there and just gotten like a regular iced coffee like I would. And maybe I should do that. Maybe I should compare the Starbucks iced coffee to the Dunkin' Donuts, just regular iced coffee, and see which one I like better. I don't know. But I have to say, like, this isn't bad. Their specialty drinks are really, really fun. And I think very comparable to Starbucks. And, yeah. So, anyway, I'll give this a 3.5. And it's just because, like, right now, I'm just not really in the mood for eggnog. But if I was, like, if this was at, like, 10 o'clock at night and we were going to drive around and go look at Christmas lights, you know? Like, do you do that? You do? You do? I do, too. Me and my good Judy, we go through the John Deere place every year in Noblesville, Indiana, and we look at all the Christmas lights. It's so pretty. I love it. Oh, my God. Okay, so, anyway, my favorite is the, um, the guy from the, what's his name, from, um... You know what I'm talking about? The the one that goes, Bumbles Bounce! That guy, you know, with the, the big monster from uh, Rudolph the Red Nose right here. I love that. The Bumble. I love that guy so much. I love that kind of stuff. But anyway, um, he's my favorite one that's lit. I'll show that. Maybe I'll do a review of that light show this year. Would you guys like that? That'd be kind of fun, wouldn't it? My good Judy and I, we could go through there and we could do a review of that. That'd be fun. But anyway, like if I got this at 10 o'clock at night and I was going through there, that'd be fun. But like, at, you know, in the afternoon, what time is it right now? 4.34? I, I, I don't need this whole, like, eggnog. I mean, it's it's all that. Do you know what I mean? So anyway, if you've had this, let me know. Put it in the comment section below. I'm going to be trying the other drinks as well. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.